Thompson, Bozeman High School English Department, will read to us from the Adventures of Huckleberry and <laughs> pretty dark just after I got onto the raft, but it was clearing up again now. Oh well, that's all interpreted and well enough as far as it goes, Jim, I says. But what does these things stand for? It was the leaves and rubbish on the raft and the smashed ore. You could see them first rate now. Jim looked at the trash and then looked at me and back at the trash again. He had got the dream fixed so strong in his head that he couldn't seem to shake it loose right away and get the facts back into its place. But when he did get the thing straightened around, he looked at me steady without ever smiling and says, What do they stand for? I was going to tell you. When I got all wore out at work and was calling for you, my heart was most broke because you was lost. And I didn't care no more what become of me and the wrath. And when I wake up and find you back again, all safe and sound, the tears come. And I could have got down on my knees and kissed your foot. I was so thankful. And all you was thinking about was how you could make a fool of old Jim with a lie. That truck dead is trash. And trash is what people is. It puts dirt on the heads of their friends. And it makes them ashamed. Right. Then he got up slow and walked to the wigwam and went in there without saying anything to that. But that was enough. It made me feel so mean I could almost kiss his foot to get him to take it back. It was 15 minutes before I could work myself up to go and humble myself to a nigger. But I done it. And I weren't ever sorry for it afterwards, neither. I didn't do him no more mean tricks. And I wouldn't have done that one if I had known it would make him feel that way. Thank you. 